Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Hey, you doing? I don't want to take too much of your time, but I want to go ahead and I want to discuss some new product that I got. All right, and that is the Seamus Mobility SE44 charger. So I got an event in the background, so you got to excuse me. So I want to make this short, you know what I'm saying? I want to make it quick. Okay, I already took it out of the box and stuff, so... So I'm just going to go over the features, okay, what I like about it, okay, and I also want to discuss, okay, the dynamics of, you know, today's passenger trains, okay, and, you know, the features, okay, of what we see to this day. But mainly our most focal point right now is the ACS 64, okay, this right here is produced by Bachman, okay, it's a high selling item. You know, I'm very impressed with it. I picked this up uh, yesterday. No, no, uh, Tuesday. I'm sorry. Tuesday I picked it up. Okay, I picked it up for $293. Okay, this is equipped with TCS Wow Sound. Okay, the sound is impeccable. And the details, okay, which I'm going to point out. Okay, I'm going to start off with the front. Okay, uh... They got their Backman Easy Make couplers. Eventually, I'll change them out for KDs. Okay, you got your independent brakes. Okay, as well as your um, your HEP cables, your head and power cables. You got your headlights. You got the ditch lights and marker lights as well. Also, you have the sign right here. Okay, this train right here is marked up for Chicago and Pontiac. Okay, uh... I believe this is, I don't know if it's the Wolverine or the Blue Water Service, but it's up in the Michigan area, okay? So I believe it's the uh, Wolverine and stuff. So uh, the number board's nice legible. You have a, an event recorder, okay, your camera right there, your event recorder camera. That's a wonderful feature, okay, with these types of locomotives. Okay, the cab interior out there is well detailed. Okay, you got your rear view mirror on both sides. Uh, you know, you got your data and stuff. Each one of them legible under the microscope. Um, you have your strobe lights. Okay, and when you press on your pro cab, okay, you have your emergency light. You press the little red button. Okay, you press it rapidly twice. Okay, the red light will come on. Okay, you got your air conditioning units well detailed. You got your positive train control antenna, okay, mounted with the body, as well as your KSLA 5 horn, which is recessed within the top of the top of the body. Okay, you have your smokestack, okay, and your various, you know, panels. Uh, the radiator section out there is well detailed. Okay, you know what I'm saying? Where you can somewhat vaguely see the fan. I think it's got great depth. I believe this is molded on, but you know, you'll get what I'm saying. Uh, you also have your extra antennas. I believe these right here for Wi Fi. Okay, as this engine out there, and many like it. Okay, it's still in production. Okay, this train, this this SE44 is marked up for Amtrak Midwest. So anything emitting from Chicago to the cities that surround it. Okay, this is what this engine will serve. Um, this section right here, this radiator section, this open grill section. Okay, with your X bracings on the body and your mesh gates, okay, the mesh screens, right there, and the see-through, you know what I'm saying, there's a lot of modelers out there, especially the rivet counters out there, we're looking for, okay, it's well detailed, and, you know, the graphics and stuff is, you know what I'm saying, it, it's, you know, it's all aspiring right here, you know what I'm saying, you got your, you know, freestanding windshield wipers, you know what I'm saying, again, you know, your rear view mirror, your door is well detailed, stirrup steps, another thing I pointed out, okay, I really like these sanding lines as well as the sand house boxes, okay, the trucks are nice and crisp, okay, with the brakes, with the brake line, um, dots and the dents inside the wheels, okay, your electrical cabinets, your fuel tank is inside your, uh, 
inside the body, just like, you know, the monocog body of the AFD-103, well, excuse me, the P-42 model and stuff, your P-42 model and stuff, the tanks recess, okay, which is good because in case of an accident, okay, that tank is not all the way exposed, okay. Now, notice the back of the unit, okay, much of today's locomotives out there is, you know what I'm saying, much of your aerodynamics and everything is to the front, where the back, okay, is not so much as the P-42s, okay, which was well-rounded. Okay, same thing with the uh, ALP-45s out there, the aerodynamic shape, okay, and just the body fit, just the body shape, okay, and then your backside is flat, okay, now, this is a Bombardier product, and this is a Siemens Mobility product, and you got your General Electric product. Now, all three of these out there is just basically showing, you know what I'm saying, what we look at with uh, model trains and stuff. And, of course, you know Daniel Lucas, so I'm the one doing the uh, Subway series, okay, I'm talking Subway car series, okay, for my comedy special that I'm, you know, it's on, it's an ongoing project. But I wanted to talk about this into today. Okay, so what we're gonna do, we're gonna take him off, and we are going to load the SC44 charger on the tracks. Initially loading it on the tracks. You can hear the engine rev up. Okay, this is of course DCC wild sound. I only use DCC. So we got our headlights. Strobe lights are nice and bright. So if you're operating at night, uh, you're operating at nighttime. Okay, this is the right time. All right. So let's check the bells. When the bells, you know what I'm saying, the bells flash, excuse me, the bells start ringing, the ditch lights flash. Same thing with the, uh, the horns. And then you got the wind of the locomotive. So we're going to have to reverse it. Connect the back of the car. Now this is just a little diorama where I can do my tests and reviews. Now, if you do model the Midwest, usually you'll have, you know, the Horizon Fleet coaches, which you'll see. When Rapido does come out with it, all right, uh, that'll be good right behind it, as well as, you know, maybe one cafe, but cafe uh, coach, and fleet coach, you know what I'm saying, usually um, the phase one, okay, the Amfleet ones, uh, cafe coach, along with maybe four or five heritage, not heritage, but uh, excuse me, Horizon fleet coaches. Uh, behind this SE44 charger, and in some cases, you'll also have a cabbage coach, which is sold right now by Rapido. Okay, the former F40PH. Okay, at the other end. So if you're going uphill or whatever, if you got some grades or whatever with those two or these two at each end, okay, you can get your train. You know what I'm saying at a decent amount of speed and great operation announcements and everything. We got another event holding on the other side, so I'm not going to take too long. But uh, again, the number boards are legible. The number boards is great. The horn sounds wonderful. 
you know what I'm saying? Again, I'm going to change the couplers as well because, you know, I'm for that prototype deal. And I'm, I will extend this uh, this diorama here so that way the train can get, you know, really stretch its wheels. And I can add on some more of the cards that I got under the table right now. But I just wanted to go ahead and just give you a quick highlight, okay, what I got going on. Uh, one thing that, you know, we all notice, okay, and again, with a lot of model railroaders out there that, uh, you know, do model Amtrak, okay, this part right here, okay, your radiator section, uh, so where you can see the, you know what I'm saying, the electrical cabinets, as well as the prime mover, generators and motors and everything, the head and power generator and everything, right through there, through that screen. Okay, a lot of people are uh, hedging their bets that Bachman did not drop the ball on that. So far, you know, with a lot of Amtrak equipment, you know, uh, it's, it's, Bachman has been pretty impressive lately. You know, especially the things that's been coming out between Rapido and freight equipment that's been coming out from scale trains. You know, I guess Bachman did not want to be left out and stuff. And so, once again, you know, they've impressed us. When you're riding, when you're, you're having the train in push mode, okay, your marker lights and stuff is nice and bright. So, or also when you uh, have the engine and stuff in emergency, okay, your, the red light and stuff will flash and stuff, but we're not going to do that and stuff right this moment and stuff. Because again, I'm trying to keep this thing short because I don't know what's up. My phone's dad is crazy and stuff. It's going down and I got to clean it out and stuff. So I got to, you know what I'm saying, pictures. I'm going to have to redo a lot of pictures and everything, a lot of videos and everything. So you can find me on Facebook as well, Instagram, okay, You're here on YouTube, like and subscribe. And, uh, shoot, um, let me know and stuff, man. Uh, this engine right there is retail price in most places, $270. I'm in New York State, you know what I'm saying, New York City. So state taxes is 30%, so I pay close to $300 for this locomotive here. But I'm going to tell you, it's worth every dime. It's a good investment and stuff. And, again... If you noticed, a lot of American engines out there are seemingly taking the very same subtle shape, okay? And this is what American passenger trains are looking like now. They're not as bulky, you know, like it used to be. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, it's just getting with the program. All right, so I'm Daniel Lucas. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and cut it short. Like, like subscribe, and uh, stay tuned. All right, peace.